A very good evening and welcome to the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received a phone call from His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah al Ahmed al Jabba al Sabah. The Kuwaiti Emir expressed his sincere congratulations on the success of the medical tests carried out by the Prime Minister recently, wishing him abundant health. He also highlighted the role of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in advancing a model of Bahraini Kuwaiti relations which is modern and pushing bilateral cooperation to achieve common interests. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed his thanks and gratitude to the Emir of Kuwait for his keenness on his health, which reflects the deepness of the relations between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister has also received similar phone calls from His Highness the Kuwaiti Crown Prince, Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmed al Jaber al Sabah, and the Kuwaiti Prime Minister, Sheikh Jaber al Bin Mubarak al Hamid al Sabah. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid al Khalifa, held today his weekly majlis at Rifa Palace. Members of the Royal Family, Shura and Representatives Councils, Municipal Councils, as well as senior government officials, religious and community leaders, journalists and diplomats attended the majlis. His Royal Highness welcomed the broad range of visitors, demonstrating Bahrain's commitment to its traditions and values, underpinned by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's aspirations to maintain a strong bond amongst Bahrain's diverse society. The Majlis's visitors extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for his hosting and emphasized his important role in advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and opportunity for the people of Bahrain. The Shura Council held an extraordinary session regarding the issuance of public health law during its 10th weekly session of the third legislative term, chaired by the Council Speaker Ali bin Salah al Salah. The Council began its session by ratifying the minutes of the 9th session before being informed about the proposal of Traffic Law 23 of 2014. Council members then continued to discuss the report of the Services Committee regarding public health law and approved the original script of the 8th chapter addressing public health and cultural and sporting institutions. The Council concluded the review of the 22nd chapter regarding pets, where veterinary facilities are to be supervised by the Ministry of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning, according to Law 17 2014 about veterinary practice in Gulf Corporation Council countries. Deputised by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, the Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, led Bahrain's delegation to the open discussions of the United Nations Security Council in New York. The meeting discussed the humanitarian and social effects of violence, conflicts and human suffering, with particular regards to human trafficking. Hamedan stated that the leadership of the kingdom supports the international community in all its efforts to combat human suffering, resulting from regional conflicts and increasing violence in communities. He noted that the kingdom approved the draft re resolution reached in the meeting, that addressed combating human trafficking in areas with armed conflict, both by preventing it and treating its victims. He urged the states to consider ratifying or acceding to the United Nations Convention Against Transnational Organized Crime and its protocol of preventing and countering human trafficking. Deputy Chairman of the General Organization of King Fahad Causeway, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, announced that numbers across the bridge during the first nine months of this year exceeded 18 million passengers. The daily rate of Causeway users increased by 3% in comparison to last year's rates. Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa noted that the organization is currently working on multiple projects that include increasing transit routes from 19 to 37 track paths. He said that the organization is working on establishing two islands, pointing out that the Saudi partners have finished the study and design phase with the project currently in the reclamation stage, while Bahraini Sides is working on the completion of the required designs. The first edition of the Gulf Medical Expo kickstarted its activities today, bringing together leading experts in the healthcare industry. More in this report with Mohamed Shaban. Leading local, regional and global medical companies and institutes convened today at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center to take part in the Gulf Medical Expo. The expo, the first of its kind in Bahrain, brings together these health bodies to showcase their latest equipment and medical services. Actually, I think this exhibition is, uh, is very important because I think it's an exhibit actually what's happening in Bahrain, you know, regarding a lot of establishments that have been established in Bahrain, and that's actually a way to, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, present itself and to, the, to the public and to the people actually concerned in this field. And uh, I think this, uh, this exhibition actually begins as comparatively small, but I think it has been a promising that's going to increase and you know, improve, and I think it's going to be the future one of the most important uh, exhibitions. The three-day expo is an opportunity for medical professionals to promote their state-of-the-art technologies and procedures to the public. It also provides a platform for direct contact and networking between doctors in the name of promoting the local healthcare industry. Absolutely, you need to know about the services which are available in the country. And uh, it is the first time we have actually taken part in one of the exhibitions. And uh, I'm very pleased that uh, people around me, my team, they have worked wonderfully well to put up this nice show. And in general, I think if you go around and you see the people have come up and they have represented themselves. The exhibition comes in line with the goals of the National Health Plan of boosting medical tourism in Bahrain while upholding and supporting local medical institutes and procedures. It is uh, nice um, uh, to introduce ourselves to the public. They know our facility, what we are providing, and they know our location and uh, what facility we can provide to the health and how we can promote our service also. And apparently we have uh, focused on a niche uh, product. Uh, this product which has a unique uh, quality service. And uh, since 2009 we have increased our product which we have a lot of equipment. Basically we have equipment that's unique product and first time ever is, is available. And Bahrain once again proves its excellence in the field of medicine and health by bringing together leading experts under one roof in the name of promoting healthcare services. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain International News. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdullah and with the local stocks. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,192.55 points, marking an increase of 1.20 points above the last closing. The increase was in the investment, services, hotels and tourism sectors. And investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 83% of total shares. 67 transactions included 3,089,029 shares worth 642,292 Bahraini dinars.